made it to No Name Nationals. Barely. I do mean barely. Not sure if all my shorts got uploaded. I saw one was paused, but this guy is giving me grief. That guy too. He's grumpy. Hot and grumpy. So we got the generator going. What happened was the air compressor or air conditioner compressor seized up and blew the belt off, which is power steering and hydro hydro brakes. And I just kept going. Luckily the the belt take the alternator belt out. So there's two belts. Both of them go across the water pump, so luckily the water pump still worked. But man, I didn't steer this rig. No power steering. Didn't have to stop a whole lot, but yeah, that's that was dumb. But we're here, and all the cars that were lined up right in here all went to the cruise into the place to eat. There goes Nate and the Pinto. <laughs> but we're not gonna go. Because we'd probably kill somebody with this. So we're gonna let the air, con air conditioner run on the generator, cool the thing down a little bit, take the doghouse off on the inside. We should be able to reach into there and get that pulled off. Um, the air conditioning never worked on here, so I doubt there's any, any Freon or whatever the hell they call it in there. Here, the dog is happy to be on green ground. And I'm happy to not be holding on to that steering wheel with the death grip anymore. So, yeah, now we gotta get greasy. <clears throat> I'm gonna take, take the old one with me because I'm not positive that the person on the phone really knew what I wanted. And they're going to call me tomorrow. Probably about 9, 9.30. Drive into Sykeston and go get it. Maybe we can find the dog a dog leash. So I forgot to bring that. I have a chain, but <laughs> I'm using a ratchet strap. Double duty leash and tie out up to my chrome poverty rims so I don't know I cook some food up I'm super dehydrated I don't know hopefully tomorrow's a better day because I did not enjoy today This is what it means to be fire, Pinto. Everybody else is out having fun with their stuff and I'm working on my junk. So, right there is the pump. We're gonna try taking it out. All right, <clears throat> I'll try to talk loud. Generator noise is all coming up through there. Best money I ever spent on that. It's like $97 for a craftsman set. But make sure you buy all the little adapters because this is saving me. I'm trying to, there's four bolts on this thing. Those are the bolts right there. And they're tucked in there. <laughs> I had to pull off 
the uh, intake hose is here. We got one more to take off yet. Drop my crescent wrench down there somewhere. It's probably hopefully on the ground. Sit down for a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm take that out. Put all the rest of this crap back in there so I can drive it. And we're gonna have to drive back to Sykeston. Actually, I haven't been to Sykeston yet. And go get the new one. So I don't know. I almost broke this. Line. I almost twisted it off trying to get it off. So I don't think that's any good anymore. Probably not going to even hook them up. Hopefully the new one comes with like caps on the compressor that can leave on. Who joined us? Mr. Shark Dog. Where are you going? Tries to eat the flies. So, um, not liking that tensioner either. It's kind of riding at an angle. We'll worry about that later. After today, like if this thing gives me any more grief, I'm probably gonna sell it. Uh, let's see. If it does, I won't be taking on any, any long trips like this, which then at that point, not worth having. All right, let's get that last bolt out. All right, we got it loose. Let's see what we can do here. Bad camera job here. Look at how baked that is. A hot spot right there. Let's hope that's the right one. I wonder if I have to take them off. I don't know. Not that it matters. Alright, I just shut the generator off. It was getting annoying. And it's cooled off outside. So this was the wire for the clutch. I should probably tape up that end. Then we got that zip tied away. I taped up all the pipe fittings for the AC lines and got those zip tied up here onto whatever that is, probably transmission cooler line. Get that out of the way. Got this bolt here as a zip tie on it just to hold it there while I go get the new pump. Um, I know I said that I thought about just leaving this tensioner, but man, it, it only takes one bolt. So I'll ask when I'm there if they don't have it. Maybe I'll stop at Napa. Replace that too. Because man, does this thing suck to drive with no power or anything. Really shouldn't be doing it, but. Um, <clears throat> the moment that it happened, there was nowhere to go 
and I was crossing the Mississippi River. So I muscled my way through there and then uh, I went very slow the rest of the way and it was still unmanageable in my opinion, but somehow I made it here without a scratch. at Napa they don't have it well they could get it in a week so O'Reilly's no that's where we're going next AutoZone <laughs> they said they had it but they just ordered me like an install kit Looked like some kind of can and some oil but they don't have it they don't even have the right kind of mount showing in their pictures so so we're at the point where we're gonna go to Riley's and see what they have but I don't think I can drive this thing 10 hours with no steering and no brakes so okay I'm getting hot Wisconsin boy in Missouri Went to O'Reilly's here. Shout out to Mickey, he works here. He, he freaking helped me out big time. Um, but the pump would have been special order. Um, but we kind of went through and worked through how maybe to turn the pump into like a delete kit. So, got a pulley, got a socket as a bushing. Uh, <laughs> now I stopped at Lowe's and got a plate of steel and some pipe fittings to work as a collar spacer, a bunch of hardware, um, and I have a drill and a grinder, so we're going to do some fabricating in the pits, or in the field at uh, No Name Nationals, so we'll figure out how we're going to get this done. Well, we're back at the track, as you can hear. So, got the canopy out now. Turn the generator off. Got the AC turned off. Kind of sweat a little bit. Get this thing taken apart. See what we can build out of it. Oh, it's gonna suck. All right, we're gonna try to take this apart. I don't know how well that's gonna go. What do you think, shark dog? Yeah, you don't care. Well, we got our tools out. Our front row seat for the big end of the track. Let's try and get this apart. This is seized on. I'm sure I need a puller to get that off, but I have a grinder. So if that thing gives me any issues, we're cutting the damn thing off. What I want to do is gut this whole thing. Take these bolts out, take that plate off, take the back end off, and see what we got from there. <coughs> All right, I got the back off. Hopefully, you can hear me okay over the announcer. I've never, never seen what these look like. But looks like there's some kind of. I don't know what that is. Weird stuff. So, <laughs> I don't know. Try more. <clears throat> All right, got that back plate off. Some kind of reed valve system, I think. Interesting. Throw that in the junk pile. So now, what is that? I'm sure I don't have that. Hmm. Well, let's try to get the front side off, I guess. Hey, well, 
<clears throat> it was quiet for a second. Uh, that didn't come out too bad. I don't know where that keyway came from. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, this came out not too bad. I have never seen what this looks like in one of these. It's really interesting. I just wonder where the heck it seized up. Oh man, what is... Let me grab a pointer. I'll get my eyes focused here. Look at that. That's like ballooned up. And looks like welded to that gear. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> Big old spring. Throw that in the junk bin. Yep. I think she's toast. I wonder. Maybe I'll see if they want to make a trophy out of this thing. <laughs> so. Yep. Otherwise it's junk. Throw that in the junk pile. This is what I want. Get that tube out of there. Plan is, I should probably go get the rest of my stuff. But plan is to put a plate on the front of this and a pulley sticking out with a bolt. Um, we're gonna make the plate first and figure out where to put the pulley after I. I gotta take off the alternator belt just to get the other belt on. And I need that belt on to figure out where that pulley can go. Okay. So I measured on this one from the back side of this plate here to the first groove. I should say the first rib. It's like an inch and a half. Uh, this plate's a little thicker than a quarter inch, which is what I have. But when I line this up, this brass bushing is just a hair short, but I think it's going to be good. I mean, it's got to be, right? Um, that's what we're going to go with. That means the only thing we have to cut is this socket. So, I think we'll cut off the hex end. So we have to drill out the middle to make that fit the bolt. Hey. No. You're an asshole, Sharky. <clears throat> Alright. We got this socket cut down, got to drill out the middle yet, and then realize that I'll need a big washer on this side for the bolt head. And I've been hauling around these freaking junk sockets for a while. I'm going to use this one here, 1160s Taiwan edition. Cut the hex off. Heck, we could probably cut it all the way past that hole in the middle. Um, then I wouldn't have to drill it. And then that'll be my washer. Heavy duty. <clears throat> all right. I perhaps didn't think about cheap sockets are actually good nowadays so it's been hard to drill I was trying to go right for the 3 8 bit but it wasn't even touching it so I went to the smallest one that would not go through forced it through 
so I'm sure I probably murdered that bit. But I got the $14 Harbor Freight Special Drill Index, so if that gets me through this, it was worth the $14. So let's get the next size bit in there and crank her through. <coughs> All right, we're up to the 3 8 bit. Drill's getting hot. Bit is getting hot. So I hope that goes through, and I hope then the bolt fits. Cause I don't want to drill another one. But we're gonna let that cool off. I think I'm gonna get up on the roof and do some videos of some racing because that's why I'm here. Okay. While I'm waiting for Milwaukee batteries to charge, I'm gonna lay out this plate. I think I said it before, but I'm planning on using Top half, well, top seven eighths. <laughs> Where's the top? Maybe that was the top. So, right there. <clears throat> um, need this whole pattern transferred to that. This, this was my straight edge and square to mark that line. <laughs> See, I, had, I followed the profile of of here with the chisel, using everything the way it's supposed to today, and then I redrew it with the plastic straight edge. So we're gonna cut that with the grinder, Milwaukee battery needed. Um, then I think we're gonna do the the paper trick. We'll get some. I don't know if I have a paper, a paper towel, that might work. Put that on here and tap it with a hammer. Got plenty of gunk and grease on it to transfer over. My dog does not like gunfire. So when them cars backfire, he kind of, kind of flinches, but he's doing good. Yeah, he likes it. Okay, we got that transferred over, found some paper, a little crinkled up, but it'll get me through. It uh, was an O'Reilly's receipt, imagine that. So, get that transferred over. I think I, I think I threw a punch in somewhere. And it was one, God, if I can find that. So it was like, I might need that. <laughs> I bet you it's in here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. All right, I found my all. That's what they eat. Call it, I guess, scratch all. <clears throat> this is way back from my days as a locksmith, and that's what I used for a center punch. And it's been broke off a couple times and resharpened, but they work. So let's get this laid out on here, and then uh, one battery is almost fully charged, so I think we'll. Get that going on the socket. We'll go back onto that. Get that right there. Get all drilled out, and then we'll cut this off. And maybe we'll drill it first. Yeah, it might be handier. Well, got the battery off the charger, and it popped right through. Three A's. Three A's pull. So that's perfect. So let's get this plate drilled out. Figure out what size hole we're gonna do for that. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna go with a 9 seconds 
drill bit to fit the original stock screws. And here's the 3 8 that went through that socket. No titanium left on that end anymore. But, focus. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta hand it to these Harbor Freight bits. That cutting edge is not rounded off. It's sharp looking at it. I put WD-40 on it, but man, it's held in there really well. Alright, got the holes in. Never mind that hole. Apparently I didn't see what I was doing. Time for new glasses. But I think we're ready to cut that off. Right here. First, we should try to make sure, make sure that them holes line up. Okay, well, all of them line up except for this one I keep having trouble with. That's, I don't know, a quarter of a hole off. I guess maybe I'll just either drill it out more or just don't put it in. All right, we got plate cut. I uh, used the grinder with the cutoff wheel. Thank God I put that in there. Dude. So I don't have any paint. But I've seen people do like oil coating, like heat them up and dump them in oil, kind of like a oil quenching. I have a half quart of motor oil, but that's for the RV. So I'm going to try the torch and WD-40. Alright, well, still smoking. I had to go up one size from 3 8 The bolt, the length of bolt that I decided to use is a hair bigger. There's one good go <laughs> It just wouldn't go in. So, I feel like I think I'm getting dehydrated again. So, I'm gonna get this in there. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta get this done. All right, we got the washer made. What is that? 11 16th Taiwan. It's not perfectly straight, but it's pretty good. So, let that cool off. Okay, got pretty much all the parts made. Um, got the plate on here. I'll we'll have to figure out where this is going to get bolted through. You know, originally it was in the middle with a much bigger pulley. So this one has the potential to make my belt too long. So it's probably going to end up somewhere like that. Try and take up some of that belt and slack. Uh, hopefully we don't have to come out too far where the nut starts hitting on this inner case here. This chopo is Anyway, the next step is to take off the belt from the alternator. That's in the way of getting the belt on for this one. So that means crawling under the RV or taking the doghouse cover off. Um, it's still pretty freaking hot here. And 
I might, I might try to wait until it cools off. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but still have tomorrow. Um, might clean up and actually watch some racing. All right, well, it's Sunday morning, or sorry, Saturday morning at the No Name Nationals. We got the doghouse off. Already wrenched on the alternator. Got that loosened up and pushed over. Had to take some hoses off to get some clearance for my arms. These things are horrible to work on. But we got that alternator loosened. So let's pop that belt off. I think I'll have to crawl under the front to do that. Oh, I'm just about gonna lose a socket there. Do that. Find my new belt. Huh. Gotta think where I put that. That's awesome. All right, so had our breakfast after we got back from O'Reilly's again to get the belt. Um, kind of wanted to let this thing cool off so I didn't have to work on a hot engine. And, and it's still pretty warm, but not hot. Oh, yay! Back to the fun. Today's race day. <clears throat> race day. I'd like to be able to get this done so I can go at least watch some racing. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I got the AC delete kit, I guess we'll call it, in there. The housing with the plate bolted on. I uh, took most of the bolts out of the plate, just left two in because we're not taking the housing back out. But we need to drill the hole for the pulley on the plate yet. But now we gotta snake the serpentine belt around the fan blades there, get them routed on the pulleys, and figure out just exactly where we might want to drill that hole. Okay, not sure how well you can see down here. Um, I got this handy magnet. It's for like a strobe light for an emergency vehicle. <clears throat> but I got that there holding the belt on the bottom. I was trying to get it so I could just hold it there while I go back inside. I was finding the belt was too short. But stupid me. That's the alternator belt. I just didn't I didn't feed it all the way off. So I'm just gonna set it down here and hopefully I can see past my arms and stuff. I use a different word for stuff right now, but I'm trying to be a better person. past the fan and twist it up here let's get this out oh, oh son of a okay oh god this should still work This is the alternator belt. I got a zip tie kind of holding the top of the, well, we're gonna call it the power steering belt now because that's all it's gonna do. Actually, power steering and hydro brakes. Man, you ever drive something like this this big with no freaking power brakes? Oh my God. 
I wish I had another magnet to put on the power steering pump. I can kill two, put two birds with one stone here. Put the alternator belt under there. Well, there's a smog pump on here yet. Not breaking the law yet. Well, don't tell nobody who we are. Okay. That might work. That probably won't work. back up top okay well I just realized something I thought that this idler pulley was a spring tensioner <laughs> I don't know why I guess I don't I don't see any spring on it but so that means that the power steering pump down here right down here um, you gotta loosen that up or something and figure out how to adjust that. Uh, so I got my zip tie back up here holding the belt up. It's routed correctly. And I think this might work. But for now, let's wrap up this alternator and get that back in place. Okay, got the alternator belt all set back in place. Maybe I set the pulley where it's supposed to be without changing the tension on that. So it's in like the spot it's supposed to be in. Okay. Let's sit down here for a second. So this was mounted on that compressor housing. And I got the Pulley set up on there. I took all the rest of this stuff out and just had the socket plugged into the bearing on the pulley. I put a piece of tape in there so it kind of hold. But anyway, I was able to stretch through here to mark a spot roughly. So I think what I'm going to do is center it and go up maybe quarter inch half inch maybe quarter inch and maybe maybe I can just install it and not have to mess with that power steering tension okay we got the plate drilled we already had the customized socket kind of pressed in with some tape on the pulley. So we're going to start assembling this thing. I'm going to take the uh, coupler, I don't know, is that half inch plumbing coupler? That's going on like that. Now, I uh, kind of cut that socket down so that the coupler is going to hit the plate first. It may have went a little too far. I think it's more important to have that coupler bound tight. Um, so that's going on there. And then we got the bolt with a washer and the custom washer made from a socket. 11 sixteenths Taiwanese. That came in a toolbox that I bought from on America, I believe. So now I gotta scrounge up probably a washer, a lock washer, and a nut for this side. <clears throat> well, I guess the Dorman kit that I bought from O'Reilly's didn't have lock washers, so I put a jam nut on. Just enough thread to do that. So here it is. The AC Delete Kit for uh, Ford F53 with dealer installed air conditioning. 
<laughs> I think if I had Ford factory air conditioning, I could have got a pump. But apparently, I have to have special things. So we're making it ultra special. So let's put this thing in. After I drink some water, it keeps saying hydrate, and it ain't working. All right, well, got it started. And it's already getting the belt tight. So we might be okay. The dog thinks he wants to climb up here while I'm working. <laughs> so I had to freaking tie him back so he can't get up here. He's hot. I'm hot. And he doesn't like gunfire and thunder. Sharky, get off me. <laughs> so these cars are backfiring. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> We're getting there. Oh, the one problem is, though, the plate is cocked. So this bolt's... Oh, is that loose now? <laughs> Shut up. Go lay down. The, ow, he's stepping on my toes. Ow, mother... I always wanted to have a dog. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't want to have a dog. But anyway, he was trying to say his bottom holes aren't aren't lining up. I can't get around the belt very well. But we're gonna get it. Somehow we're gonna get it. Oh, me dipped. I think we got it. Once I started tightening up these top bolts, screws, and it started tensioning the belt, then after it got closer to home, I could get the bottom bolts in. So I didn't get those in to last, but I, I think that tension's good. I don't think you want it much tighter than that. So I think, I think we might be done. Gotta go down there, remember to take my magnet off. Gotta stop forgetting the things. So. Go down there and check it out. Well, we're done on this side, but I have a little issue here. I didn't get that bolt on right. So I gotta loosen that alternator up. Put that right. All right, we're all buttoned back up. It's to hope so. Seems like I'm always forgetting something. But the alternator belt's good now. Power steering is good now. So let's fire this thing up and see if we can turn the wheel real easy. Hey, are you done whining? I didn't think so. All right. Let's see if I did this all good and well. Battery looks a little low. Come on, Nelly. Wow, oh, this ain't cool. It's got no gas. Oh, it's not hooked up. <laughs> I'm going to bump something else here too. Right there. Oh. It's giving me the, give me the scares here. Oh, look at that belt is moving. Now is the big test. One hand. Ooh, 
blockers. Dog way in the back. 